Oh, you just know a mechanoid's gonna show up. Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight. Welcome back to another episode of RimWorld. Yeah, Laura, you wouldn't be starving if you would just eat something and stop hiding in your room, but, you know, that's never a problem. Anyway, yeah, I skipped ahead a bit since the last episode in order to, uh, you know, get us ready to move out. But we've got this refugee quest, which I think is actually, she's gonna die in 10 days now, because I wanted to make sure we were ready for that. And that fiery sound you hear is the sound of fire, because apparently there was a flash storm or something. Anyway, the, the key thing, I think, is, uh, let's actually zoom on in here, loading up the old world map again. Let's look at our friendly refugee. It only takes, I think, 0.6 days to get to them. And in fact, what do we know about them? That's a good question. I think they're, I think they're relatively young. So the odds of them having like a bad back or something are reasonable. Uh, their name is Gilma. That's not the worst name I've ever heard. Not the best. Oh, a 20 year old machine collector. Yeah. And we've got 9.8 days left. Okay, a bunch of uh, dromedaries joined. Oh, what's this? An item stash. Glitter World Medicine and Hyper Wee. Oh, shite. Two days left to get that. Hmm. Well, there's no known threats. Okay, you know what? We gotta... We gotta get on this, like, right now. Is that... Is that it? Just two dromedaries? Oh yeah, and Templeton, a self-tamed bear. Templeton the fifth. Did we have a fourth? I don't know. I'm just gonna assume we didn't. Anyway, if there's no known threats, maybe I'll just send two people to go grab the, uh... That item stash, because Glitter World meds are pretty dang useful, if I do say so myself. And, obviously I do. So, let's see here. What do we got as far as guns on everyone here? Overall, pretty good. Remember when we were using, like, simple bows? Look how far we've come. It's beautiful, really. Uh... Hmm. Kind of want to give Jumper... Like, what's the, uh, what's the range on this again? On a pistol. An auto pistol, for that matter. The range is 26, so that's actually better than the range on one of these, isn't it? Yeah. So... Alright. Oh, wait, 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 wait. But, uh, then again, this... Oh, that's a chain shotgun. What's its range? Range is only 13, but I'm pretty sure these are actually pretty powerful weapons in the right hands. Oh, yeah, we're also having a party, apparently. You know what? We'll let everyone go to the party, then we'll... You know, I guess do something about this fire that's burning... Slowly, but steadily, towards our bridge, which, also, I built a bridge. Also, this looks off, doesn't it? Oh, good, good, good job, Nelly. Very good job. Actually, you know what? H how is, uh, Jumper doing, anyway? Disturbed sleep, minor pain, due to a bite scar in your arm, that's totally fine. We'll just get you to have some luciferium, you'll be great. Anyway. Yeah, we'll send Jumper to do that. Actually, wait, Jumper, who, who's your, uh... Your wife is Sam. Maybe I'll have Sam and Jumper go together. Husband and wife team. That sounds like a cool idea. All right. Doodly doodly do. Sam and Jumper. Might have you take Templeton, actually, with you, because then you can... Eh, no. He's still being trained, so we'll leave him. Uh, we'll take... That's probably more food than we need, but, you know, might as well. Alright, there we go. Let's get going. Yeah, because, again, it's only going to take them... 1.27 days. Okay, maybe I should have had them bring more food. Hold on. Um... Yeah, maybe load this into your caravan as well. Yeah, someone should do something about this fire. Good job, Pliskin. I mean, it'll, it'll burn itself out eventually, probably. 
That's not that bad. I mean, you, we can see where it started. I mean, it's it's totally fine. So these guys, they're going to take care of their stuff. We'll go deal with the refugee later. I mean, I think I'll leave Nelly and Rascal home, seeing as I believe they are our best chefs, are they not? Eh, Pliskin's... Actually, you know what? We don't even really need Pliskin doing cooking anymore. Oh, Sam's actually one of our best cooks. Yeah, but it's all relative. So, yeah. Alright, good. They're... They're making their way in the world. With... Um... 1.3... Oh, 3.5 days of food. So yeah, they've got plenty of food now. It'll be great. And they're also foraging berries, so they'll bring back... More of that. There is a part of me that's tempted to just kill the dromedaries, but, uh... That seems kind of silly, because they do have... Stock. And they, oh, wait, can we... Do we milk dromedaries? Are dromedaries milkable? I mean, a male, no. Uh, they... They do have, uh... Wool, so I mean, I guess at least that's extra stuff, and... Man, look how barren it is out here. When it comes to the grasses. Stupid lack of grasses. Oh well, we'll just extend... We'll just keep extending it. Because, you know, nothing can possibly go wrong from having our animals wandering over here. <laughs> Look at them. They've literally eaten, by the looks of it, I'm assuming, since they're all, like, mass migrating over here. Or maybe I should just have, like, two different, uh... Two different pasture spots, you know, and just kind of, like... You know, do the sustainable thing of having them, like, go between one and the other. Though I've got to say... In my own experience, uh, RimWorld does a terrible job at actually showing, like, just how fast, like, grass grows in the wild. And I, I would like to cite personal experience. There's, like, this, uh, nature-y, parky thing near where I live. I take Ace walking through there all the time. And the thing is, like, this summer there was, like, massive wildfire. Burned, like, I don't know, I'm gonna be dramatic and say, like, 60, 70 percent of the whole thing down. There's probably only like 30 or 40 percent, but anyway, that's besides the point. Within a week, it looked like there hadn't been a fire at all. Like, just everything grew back up. It was beautiful. In its own way. I mean, nature is beautiful to begin with, but you know. I just feel like emphasizing that. I might want to actually make some more meals, but like regular simple meals, but I do want to focus on the, uh, the survival -y meals. Oh, do these guys... They're almost there. They'll, they'll arrive tomorrow, and then have to head back the next day. Be kind of cool if we had boats. Ooh, an ancient danger. I knew this was an ancient danger. I knew it. Which is cool. And that Glitter World Medicine is going to be really cool, too. Anyway, uh, do we have any more animals that have, like, wandered onto the map? It's It's been feeling kind of just a little bit dead. I mean, it may be because I'm hunting everything on the map. But I don't think that's really how the game works, you know? I mean, if it does, it, as far as I know, it's not actually, like, explained anywhere. Like, that's how, how things work. You just kind of have, like, moments where it seems like there's just nothing living on the map, and then some other times where there is a bunch of stuff living on the map. I mean, yeah, we've got plenty of meat. So I guess I'm worrying a little too much, perhaps. Yeah, it's all good. I'm, I'm reasonably happy about it. These uh, passive coolers are gonna give out soon enough. That's good. Be able to harvest that by the by. Still got lots of wood. And, I mean, we're going to be able to have, like, just a massive, uh, massive thing going there, so that's great. And we should be ready to leave soon-ish. I'm hoping that by winter, we'll be able to, like, get down into this, uh, more tropical area where, it, you know, it's, like, nice and warm. Minus 16. Minus 16 again, rookie numbers. Actually, to be honest, if we can make it to a heron block, how long would that take, approximately? Only 3.2 days. I mean, then again, we would be traveling down the highway, so I guess that makes a certain amount of sense. 
Like only about double the time it would take to get from here to here. We could go all the way down to here. So yeah, we could we could actually sit here for a while, I guess is the takeaway. I really hope it doesn't turn out I mean it says known frets as zero. But uh there could be like unknown frets. So, you know, this could be bad. Actually. You know what? This is actually if it only had a road. Which actually reminds me, I really hope the uh, buildable roads mod gets updated to beta 19 at some point. Because that would be pretty cool. You know, because then... If I find myself, uh, personally, I sometimes limit my... Uh, oh, you just know a mechanoid's gonna show up. When we get close. Or wait, no, it won't, because it immediately said, hey... You know, the caravan will reform. Nice. A little bit of hyperweave. What's the story of this, anyway? Nanofibers woven into sheets molecule by molecule using specialized production mechanites. While it flexes freely most of the time, it stiffens to absorb blows as they land and is incredibly difficult to break. The secrets of its production are known only to the most advanced glitter world cultures. So basically, this is like some super secret awesome stuff. I like that. Alright, let's uh, reform the caravan. Take all that uh, sweet loot. Hyperweave that. Don't really need the stone chunks. Don't know why we'd want it. Choose the root. Go home. And we've still got plenty of food, so... Nicely done. Alright. Camp Mild Hope. Hope that is mild. Also, what is your visibility anyway? 36%. Alright, so... It's, it's pretty low as a chance that we might not... Uh, or that we will get hit by anyone, so I'm I'm pretty comfortable. Uh, let's see here. There's no known frets here either. Of course, this could end up being like an ambush. Hmm. That does concern me. Also, we're we're getting some research done, so that makes me happy. I'm gonna do some drug production into medicine. Well, eventually medicine production, so that we can get ourselves uh, like so we can produce regular medicine because that would be good of course then again so would a water mill generator and auto doors there's a lot of stuff that would be nice let's see make chem fuel from matter like wood or foodstuffs I mean that's good but yeah I kind of want to finish this maybe maybe I will just like keep going up the line here I mean Prosthetics would be useful. You know, maybe that'll be our next, uh, our next thing, because that could actually end up being more useful, possibly, maybe. I might leave behind the heaters. Maybe. Maybe not. I mean, it's not like we really have to make too many tough choices in that regard, because overall, we do have a pretty good thing going here. There are a little... Oh, no. We've, I was going to say, maybe we're running a bit low on rice, but then... Then you look over at this, and you realize that, yeah, what we honestly need is like a Manhunter pack of Muffalo or something. Like a big Manhunter pack of Muffalo. Get all that sweet, juicy meat and stuff. Also, yeah, we're training Templeton here to haul. I've got a feeling this is going to be the last Templeton we have. We're not going to need another Templeton after this. Anyway, yeah, let's get on uh, prosthetics. Because maybe I'm mistaken, and maybe there is actually someone might have told me in the comments already, but I'm like really, really building a big backlog now just so that like the kind of gap we had like two weeks ago, I believe, in my uh, like video schedule doesn't happen again. Because I'm in like a really, really pumped up high energy mood as of late. So I figure while I'm in that position, record a bajillion videos. And then for those days where I don't really feel all that high energy, I don't have to worry. You know, about like falling behind or stuff, because it's kind of one of those, um, what do you call it? A positive feedback loop, where like something happens, and then it causes something else, and that something else causes the first thing to keep happening. I... That, that was probably not like the best way of describing a, a positive feedback loop as it exists, but yeah, basically, I mean... Effectively, a positive feedback loop is any kind of loop where once it starts, it kind of like keeps feeding into itself and causing it to keep going. 
And in biology, if memory serves, if I'm remembering my basic high school stuff, uh, it, those are, they're generally not great. What you want are those negative feedback loops where something happens that causes something and that something causes the first something to like say, okay, we're done, stop. Ooh, abandoned camp quest. Let's see, ooh, a power claw. Don't really need the tech proof sub persona core, but you know, that, that's a thing. Uh, where is the bandit camp? Yeah, it's even farther away. I'm probably gonna skip that one. I mean, I like it. I mean, the idea of being able to replace someone's arm with a power claw is pretty cool. But I, I think we'll we'll give it a pass. Because we kind of have to go a bit too far out of our way for my liking. So, yeah. We'll leave it at that. Eh, they're making good progress. Though, given the speed they're going, I'm having a hard time believing it would really only take three days to get to Heronlock. Oh, and a poison ship has landed. Oh, thank God, it's all the way in the... It's all the way up there. Question. Can I use whatever's in here to take out whatever's in here? Also, I've decided it's going to be just a rule that I'm going to uh, open every ancient danger we encounter from now on. Because we missed that one. And I don't want to miss any more because it just, you know, doesn't seem all that great. Also, uh, what else? Might as well have a machining table, now that I think about it. Might be able to make some nifty, uh, nice stuff here. Oh good, these can be uninstalled. Can't remember if that's new or if that's always been a thing. So I know there was a mod for making more stuff miniaturizable. I'm just going to assume until told otherwise it's just a beta 19 thing, but maybe, you know what, let's not, let's not get all caught up in this. I mean, I know moving stoves, that's got to be new, because I'm, I don't remember being able to do that without mods back in, uh, as I adjust my microphone there, back in beta 18. Excellent, and the caravan has made it home safely. All right, so I'm actually going to close that, because we don't need it. Not too much. Though another thing that does occur to me is perhaps I should work on building like some more proper defenses. Like, uh, not a kill box exactly, but something that will allow us to kind of like filter the enemy. Ooh, a war merchant has shown up. Which means they will probably... Don't, don't bring that in here. And Rascal has gotten an uh, incompetent cook. I think Rascal's the one cooking, too, so that's kind of hilarious. If that ends up being the case. Alrighty then. And also, medicine. 62% grow. I think we're going to stay until this is done. Because this should be a nice amount of herbal meds, and then we'll... Probably, between the herbal medicine and the glitter world medicine, we probably won't have to worry about medicine for the rest of the game. Well. It's probably not going to be that simple. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, disassemble these. Okay, we've got our prosthetics. Uh, let's, um, uh, let's go with gas operation. I'm pretty sure smoke pop belts don't work, uh, with, like, on people with guns. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Heart implant, cochlear implant. Um, no prosthetic nose. That's disappointing, because I'm pretty sure Pliskin's prosthetic nose does result in him like being yeah let's see cloth steel and components versus the jacket cloth steel and components yeah I mean I guess I should have been growing some cloth oh yeah who's our uh, who's our best warden or socially person Hercules good I mean the prisoner recruitment I mean, it's not going to really help us with this, but, you know, we could pretend. Uh, I... Hmm. I mean, I'm tempted to keep these things. But... I kind of want to get rid of the stuff that we're not really using. And also, I don't really want to keep drugs around. Uh, keep the incendiary launcher. I'll keep the chain shotgun. Bit of, uh... 
some of the lower quality clothing we've got here. Getting pretty close here. Uh, let's see, what else do I want to get rid of today? Well, I mean, I'm gonna have to buy something, I suppose, <laughs> at this rate. Uh, don't really want any of those. What would I want to buy from them, actually? The answer is not much. Maybe some pemmican. I'll buy, I'll buy your pemmican, then I can just sell everything without having to feel bad about it. Not everything, everything, but, like, everything, I guess, that's kind of worn down a little bit. Yes, because... I mean, what am I, what am I trying to, oh, what am I even trying to earn all this money for in the first place? There we go, that's good enough. It's lightened the load a little. Got us a bit more silver, a bit of uh, delicious, delicious pemmican. Oh wait, can I buy the warg or is that just like one of their guards? I'm not entirely sure. I don't know how I feel about this, like, new graphic for the pemmican. As it looks kind of like a heap of dung, if, uh, you don't mind me saying so. Anyway, what else might I want to make? Uh, machine pistol, auto pistol, revolver. I guess we want to- oh, EMP grenades. That was- those would be probably pretty good. Let's make, like, three of those. And... Actually, looks like it's already time to just about leave, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cut away so that the final bit of this episode can be us exploring or trying to rescue that prisoner. So I will cut away and I will jump back in when we arrive. Alright, and here we go. Here's hoping good things happen. Alright, okay, Gilma is in fact alive is bruised uh you are a fast learner a, a fast learner who is a nudist with an annoying voice so basically just cut her tongue out uh, or remove her jaw and then everyone will be fine i mean she's got a burning passion for shooting stuff so that's that's good she's an apocalypse survivor awesome and she collects machiney stuff i guess so that's cool all right let's uh I guess head in. Oh, and we can immediately leave. Ooh, is there something hidden behind the wall? I think you are exaggerating when you said you would die. Oh, you know what? We should actually don't hunt our own animals. But let's uh let's hunt uh the meat off of these things and then we'll, you know, get out of here. All right, we'll have our dromedaries go over here just to make sure they're out of the way. And we will get a, um, a singular sleeping spot for right here. Alright, there's apparently nothing exciting over there. Oh, I, I would actually have liked it a bit better if you guys could, like, maybe... Yeah, just kill this stuff, and then we'll butcher it and be on our way. Because that's cool. I mean, it's a little... It's admittingly a little bit anticlimactic that there was, like... <laughs> There was nothing, nothing really to do here. But then again, sometimes those are happy coincidences, aren't they? Let's, uh, now this is what I call hunting, apparently. Oh god. Oh god. Well, that worked out nicely. Beautiful. All right, so th there's some meat for us. Uh, yeah, what are you doing over there, man? Hey, you guys should maybe get a little closer. Don't shoot each other, though. That would be... I mean, after all, I, this, uh, I'm pretty sure is a... I've already made this quote, but just in case I have forgotten, as I believe there was a... Some great... Are you, like, leaving? Oh. Oh, you're not even joining us, you're just leaving. Oh, you're part of the war lineup. Oh wait, if she leaves the uh the camp successfully, then 
will at least get some positive relations. So I guess, uh, I guess it's okay then. All right. Well, that's, uh, that's that then. I guess we're not actually recruiting a new person. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't even get any kind of bonus for that. Well, now I feel stupid. I should have just, uh... Yeah, please butcher these animals for me. You know what? We'll make even one more copy, just in case. Just in case anyone else can, uh, butcher stuff. Just so we can get out of here faster. I'm in no great hurry. I mean, well, I'm not in a great hurry to leave, but... At the same time... Alright, a little bit of plasteel. Can't, uh, complain about that. Also, uh, where, where was that plasteel? Dang it, gaslight. Yeah, alright. So basically, there's gonna be a lot of meat. So we're gonna be able to make a lot of food. And that'll be good. So, I mean, at least something came- No, no, don't eat the- Don't eat the meat, you idiot. Alright. <laughs> let's, uh, let's get out of here. Alright, take all the meat. I mean, these guys are gonna eat the meat anyway, because they're- they're idiots, but, you know. Oh, we could just take the corpse back with us. Alright. And we still have plenty of- plenty of space, time, money, stuff. Alright, there we go. Get out of here. You're not actually moving yet, are you? Yeah, because it's not- it's not early enough, late enough, whatever. Yeah, they're resting with zero bed rules, because they're not happy. Or they will be happy eventually. I feel bad about not doing this. But it's not worth going out of our way, I think. Anyway, this episode's running just a touch bit long, so I think I'll... I'll wrap things up here, and until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching, I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button, or maybe leave me a comment down below, let me know what you're thinking, and I will see all you in the next video.